Okay, World of Wonder. Today we're gonna do some wedge testing with a new grind and a new wedge. We have the new Jaws Full Toe in the J grind, which is a little bit different than the C grind that we had in this wedge before a couple of years ago. I did a bunch of content around it. It was a lot of fun, but I always get jazzed to try something new in the wedge category. So World of Wonder, it's wedge testing time. Here we go. Okay, so anytime you're testing wedges, you have to get in certain areas around the greens. In my wedge uh, testing videos before, we kind of go in a big circle, hit some bunker shots, hit some kind of short chip shots, so that's what we're gonna do. Really quickly on the J grind. When people ask like how to describe it, I would say if an S grind and a W grind had a child, it would be the J grind. So it's a kind of got a wider sole, it's got a little bit more bounce in areas, it's got camber in the leading edge or chamfer in the leading edge and a little bit of relief back here. So this is kind of a middle ground for uh, the players who like to play with a little bit more bounce and a little bit more forgiveness because in any good wedge, it's forgiving first and a surgeon's tool second. So let's hit a couple of shots here. See how this thing does. Is it just little chippy shots? They really like the turf interaction there. Whenever you're hitting chip shots, you know, there's some people that'll hit shots around the green. They don't use the bounce correctly. Somebody that doesn't use the bounce correctly will take like a huge divot or the club will stick in the ground. This is an into the grain lie. So that's about ideal because I didn't disturb the grass that much. So I already know that this grind is pretty forgiving and it's not gonna dig, which is always my fear with any wedge. Try to gas that one. Okay, not great, but let's move on to the next spot. So, you know, the Jaws full tail, like out on tour, it got a little bit of play. It actually got a lot of play in Europe because of the C grind. They liked the fact that they could open it up in the leading edge sack close to the ground. And a lot of players did actually ask the uh, Callaway tour team to put a little bit of relief in the leading edge to make it a little less diggy. So in the J grind, we did that for you. Let me grab a couple of falls here. We're having very kind of a weird spot over here. But if you guys remember the first video, we'll put the link in the description of this one. Why do you have a full face of grooves? Well, because most players don't hit it out of the guts every single time they hit a wedge shot. There is still meat out here. So they have this weight pocket up here to raise the center of gravity. And now you have a wedge and you can kind of hit out of here. And this sort of operates like a sweet spot as well. So we got some shots that are kind of like, kind of built to be out of the toe which is a little bit short-sighted, kind of on an uphill lie. And this is a shot that I would get off the toe because I want to sort of kill. Like you see where that ball came out of right there, a little bit toe side. Actually, it came out a little faster than I wanted it to, so I'm going to play it even more on the toe, hit it a little harder. You see how much spin that had? And I hit it out of there. Like... We love that. Let's hit one more. You actually get further into the rough. Now I gotta kinda really pound down on this thing. I gotta hit this hard. Like I'll take that. As you can see, see where I hit it? Right out of the highest part of the toe. So now we're gonna go to the bunker. And with any good wedge test, obviously you have to test with the golf ball that you play with. I'm using Chrome Soft X golf balls with triple track because that's what I usually play when I'm playing golf. So we have a, not a super difficult bunker shot here. We hit a few bunker shots, but uh, for me, like this is kind of the last test. Like what a 60 degree wedge does out of, a, out of the fairway to me does not matter. I care about what it does around the greens. So let's hit a couple of bunker shots. I think I got to land it right on the top of that ridge. See if it'll trickle down there. See if we can make, oh, this is actually kind of make if I hit it hard. Yeah, that wasn't bad. It's got plenty of bounce to get the ball out. I didn't hit that very hard, but the ball came out with plenty of speed. Bounce, a little bit more bounce and a little bit wider sole for me actually equals a little bit more speed with less effort. So we're into the one, I gotta hit this a little harder. Dude, that does. That is so, both to be so good. Come on, Elite. Well. I didn't pick the easiest, I picked the easiest bunker to hit out of, but you get it close, you gotta hit it with the chop. 
Okay, let's hit one more. See if I can get one up in the air. Plenty of spin. Okay, kind of like this thing out of the bunker. It's actually quite easy to get out of the, to get it out. So let's give ourselves kind of a terrible lie. Beat it down a little bit. A little bit of a fried egg. See what happens when I stick this wedge into the ground. Hey, we like that one. Got one ball left in here. Got one last one. Get that high one again. Pretty good. Okay, so what did we learn about the Jaws full toe uh, with the J-Grive? More forgiving than it was before. So you have a couple of things to consider. You have the chamfer from the leading edge. Um, it's a little bit wider sole. I think the center gravity properties are all kind of the same. So what they did is they gave you Jaws full toe. They just gave you a more forgiving version of it. For me, I'm gonna test it a little bit more, but this is definitely a wedge that would land in my bag. So if you have any more questions on Callaway Jaws Raw or Full Toe Wedges, go to CallawayGolf.com or the Wonder website. Uh, we're going to be launching these on tour here pretty soon, so we're pretty excited. So uh, that was a wedge test. Johnny Wonder from the bunker. We're out of here.